Hello everybody, welcome to Season 50 uh, CCL Playoffs first round match. I'm getting there nearly. Crystal Hunter and his Skaven versus Agrelius and his Underworld. In the booth with me is Skura Metzo. Hello. Hello, yeah, we got there in the end. What a kickoff here. Uh, and today's game is... Uh, oh no. <laughs> Today's game is dedicated to the 2,881,053 people living in the great country of Qatar. <laughs> they definitely didn't bribe me uh, to uh, dedicate this one to them, that's for damn sure. So pull up a dish of Macboos and get ready because uh, today's game is going out to everyone in uh, that uh, definite, uh, definite country with all those human rights and uh, hosting the World Cup with... Uh, no, uh, no problems in just a few weeks. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my God. It had to be, didn't it? Holy shit. <laughs> you feel better. The, the, the blind spin I did right before the game was Russia. So it's like, I'm just going to spin that one more time. <laughs> God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but you know, I'm sure, I'm sure some of the people there are fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the people are fine. They're just, you know, mostly oppressed, <laughs> somewhat mm. enslaved to build soccer stadiums. Yes, yeah, yeah. That we'll all enjoy watching games on, uh, you know, amorally in a few weeks' time. Well, not all of us, but yeah. Well, I mean, I will. Hey, you know, the, the most, the most liberal of all of us <laughs> will happily just consume that content regardless. <laughs> I'll just drop the old. There's no ethical. Uh, there's no ethical consumption in capitalism, no matter what you do. So you can't really avoid it. <laughs> the get out of jail free card for hypocrisy. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, you see, but it was dedicated to the people, not not the government. So it's fine. Oh dear. <laughs> no more spits for skirt. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out. Oh my god. Right, well there you go. No, no real damage there on the LOS. Like a KO'd no, no. KO goblin is, is not bad at all. And uh, so yeah, looking at the teams and uh, get moving on from that. There's three good gutter runners here. Like one one is minus move, but like which is obviously terrible, like because the whole point of gutters is move nine, but Edge five is obviously incredible, isn't it? Blodge step, show sure hands deep, like amazing. It's still amazing even with minus move. This one's strength three, blood step guard, amazing. This is like a Saka, so like, you know, three good gutters, two amazing claw pommers. He's even sacrificing a gutter to protect the claw pommer, oh my god. So like, you know, amazing claw pommer there. I, ooh, he doesn't have to because there's no guard, so he doesn't yeah. have to. That's, that's interesting. Um, yeah, no guard orders. And then he's got uh, loads of massive bench, loads of, loads of crippled guys on the bench. <laughs> Um, and yeah, but two amazing, two amazing storm vermin, right? Claw mighty, strength four garda, and a claw pommer with frenzy and jugs. Um, Igrelis has two claw pommers, uh, one with horns and tackle, and the other one with. Uh, well, we can look at him in a minute. Um, oh, else. there we go. There we go. Some yep. There's a Kaz. Light, light casualty on a nothing rat, but it's still. Yeah. Numbers are numbers. Yeah, for some reason, didn't three dice a good runner, but uh, you know, who's to say if it was right or wrong? And um, <laughs> and you know, he's got uh, he's backing that up with some goblins. So you know, I, who's to say whether good runners are better than goblins? But we're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it's interesting. All things considered, I mean, this is not the best rat team that Chunter has ever taken to the playoffs. That's for damn sure. But. Still pretty good team, and Chunter knows how to how, how to how to leverage uh, uh, a rat team into a uh, pretty good success. I'd say. Yeah, like it's still a two thousand TV rat team, and the, the two storm vermin are amazing. And yeah, it's it's just it's only got three good gutters. Like this is a rookie gutter with minus yeah. minus AV, so it's you know, it's not a rookie. Is it's got he's he's got sprint and sure feet, so he's got like a kind of ghetto one turner. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, so it's like, but it's it's defenseless. When I said rookie, I meant defenseless, of course. And then, oh yeah, so Igrelis did get inducements. He got two babes and a wizard 
and he also got bomber dribble snot. No, did he not get bomber dribble snot? He got no. He got a skitter. He got skitter, skitter instead. He he was gonna take bomber dribble snot, um, but then decided against it and took skitter instead. And skitter's pretty good, so he does have at least one goal runner. So that's nice. Yeah, I might watch some of the World Cup to be fair, but like there, there, so, some people are boycotting it, aren't they? Not that it'll make any difference, but some people are, which is fair enough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's where I'm at. I'm like, I probably won't get as into it as I usually do, but me, me not watching it isn't a thing. Like, I, I legitimately have abandoned my Twitter for my own political beliefs uh, in the last week, and that is actively going to cost me. Uh, jobs, you know, <laughs> so like, so I have, I, I, I pick and choose my battles where I think it, it matters more and participating in a forum that I no longer want to be a part of due to ownership uh, transitions is uh, more important to me than a soccer game that was bribed out and everyone uh, uh, and helped expose all the, the, uh, the corruption in FIFA uh, that was just getting quietly put under the table you know six years ago or eight years ago whenever that was yeah i remember, I remember it was a while, long time ago wasn't it when they won yeah, like yeah. it was, a long it was time supposed ago. to be england and the u.s getting those two and then it went to russia and, and cutter and everyone went wait a second <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute yeah it was so weird oh, man. <laughs> Are we sure that Triffic's actually from Texas? Are you sure he isn't from like? This? I, he he lives in Texas. I don't know if he's from there, but he's uh he's like he's like a he. I mean, he's not far. He's not super far off from me. Uh, all things considered, in the political uh, <laughs> political ethics uh, category. I mean, Squirrel lives in Squirrel lives in fucking Texas too. He's not much of a Texan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's a lot of Texans that live in the cities there that are just fucking trapped, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Because I, like, I don't know all of the states here in America, so if, yeah. if, you, if you give me a moment, I'll tell you which one I think I think Tri must be from. Uh, oh, boy. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like he's from uh, Tennessee, I think, because the, the number one search in there on Pornhub is cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's disturbing. What's the, what's the Massachusetts one? Uh, lesbian. That's what most of them are. Most of America is uh, lesbian. Fair enough. Uh, uh, fair enough. Lesbian steps. Which is weird for a country <laughs> that's rolling back its uh its its gay rights. <laughs> yeah, Tom Brady nudes. Yeah. Vermont is cartoon. There you go. Vermont is cartoon. Yeah. Do like a bit of Vermont. <laughs> New Hampshire is stepmom, and uh, right, Maine well, is step New Hampshire. Yeah, <laughs> that that doesn't that doesn't surprise me in the fucking slightest. Those libertarian scumbags. <laughs> Rhode <laughs> Island is milf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's because everyone in Rhode Island is a fucking soccer mom. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Do you know what? It was a, I saw an amazing thing on Instagram today, and it said that t the last time Tom Brady lost three games in a row was 2002. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, the year they didn't go to the playoffs. Mm. Uh, out of their... Uh, First uh, four years of uh, other, or three years of dominance, and one year of not making the playoffs. And it had all things that happened in 2002, <laughs> like you know, like pictures of them. It was before the first ever Call of Duty yeah. had come out, and it was like <laughs> a, a month after Vice City had come out and stuff. Absolutely mad. It's so man, it's so wild thinking about that because like I remember, obviously like because of sports, you remember kind of vividly each season, like what your life was, you know, like what you were doing in your life at that time. Yeah. So like, I remember that cause I was in college 2001, 2002. I mean, summer of 2002 gearing up for that, uh, gearing up for that. I was out canceling Firefly. <laughs> <laughs> Just celebrating my, celebrating my first Patriots, uh, Super Bowl ever by, uh, driving out West and, uh, getting rid of a bad show. <laughs> But yeah, I remember that 2002 season where we were like, "Oh, I guess the Pates, the, the Patriots were uh, were fraudulent and they're one and done, and this isn't going to be a thing." And then the next two years happened. And we're like, "Holy shit, this is the best team anyone's <laughs> ever had." Because the 0304 teams were my two favorite Patriots teams, other than 08. But again, 08 just sucked because they canceled the season and didn't let them play the Super Bowl against the Giants for some reason. So we never got to finish that undefeated season. 
Yeah, that was weird, wasn't it? I remember that. I remember that vividly. Yeah, that was so bizarre. Yeah, G5, I don't really remember 85, but that, I, like, I was a little too young for caring about sports, and you know, I was fucking five. Uh, but uh, that was a bad, I don't know how my dad made it through that, and then the following year was Bill Buckner and the Red Sox in, in 86. And it was just like, that was not a, not a good time to be a sports fan in Boston. <laughs> It's I mean, the last hundred years before 2001 was a bad time to be a sports well, fan in Boston. Where your all comes in. Well, the mad thing is, the maddest thing is that there's like this, yeah, this fully grown adults, isn't there, that like weren't alive when when when, when Brady yeah. lost three in a row. <laughs> like, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Tw Twenty fucking years, like that's insane. I mean, again, I was born in 1980, Mangle, so a lot of it was wasted on me at that time. <laughs> I was alive for their uh, 96, 97 uh, loss to fucking Brett Favre and the Packers in the Super Bowl, though. Um, but in fairness, I had just gotten the Super Scope for my SNES. So my friends at halftime, we all went down to play that, and we forgot to watch the second half of the game. Because we were playing with the fucking Super Scope. One of the dumbest peripherals ever made. <laughs> And uh, anyway, there's some blood bowl happening. Here. There is, yep. There's a foul on a there's a foul on a troll, and it's just a stun. And there was no removal on that three dice, was there? Even though he put the reroll in, didn't even pile on. Yep. Well, he couldn't because he did it with claw mighty. It's, it's, I guess, I guess to be fair to Chunter, there is like a dirty player sneaky git uh, goblin lurking, and there is a dirty player uh, lineman as well. So I guess you know, but you've got it. Like the quality on is uh, also these just. Should just completely expose the ball here, and that's a choice, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little interesting. Again, I guess he's feeling confident without the guard, but he didn't put a guard <laughs> to protect the ball on the backside. No, so. he's just literally just giving up a hit yeah. on the ball. Yeah. Maybe not a great hit, but you know, dice can be rolled. It's a GFI for a two D with mighty blow tackle, like with claw pom tackle. An instant. It's not instant. It's a two plus. What the fuck? Um, yeah, SNES. Um, oh, and, oh, did I say? Oh, you say SNES? Yeah, we say SNES. Yeah. Really? Oh, I say SNES. No, it's a SNES. You oh, never wow. called it the NES. You called it the NES. <laughs> yeah, but it was a SNES. SNES. <laughs> wow. Is that? Can I get some Americans to back me up here? Am I? Am I weird, or is that normal for Americans to call it an SNES? Mm. No, I, I called it an NES, but then it was a SNES. Uh, didn't call it a NES. Called it an NES, but then a SNES. NES. Well, we called it a Nintendo. We didn't really ever call it an NES. But yeah, true, true. Nintendo, true. but it was the SNES. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you, Samich. Yeah, it wasn't. It was a Nintendo. Then it was a SNES. Um, but um, <laughs> also Foxmania. We've gotten that trade. It would depend where you were in the league, and. Uh, and you know, every, there'd be a lot of factors that would weigh into that decision, so I can't really answer that for you without the rest of the information. No, I don't live in Japan, Paravale. I think that's the only place it was actually called the Famicom, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Famicom was Super Famicom, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing an advert for a Super Famicom when I was a kid. Yeah. And I was like, oh wow, I want that. And then obviously the SNES came out, and I was like, oh, that's what that is. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we ever had an Atari. I think in, I think Nintendo was my first actual system. Mm. I know my cousins had an Atari, mm. which is a great Boston word, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It Having is. your Italian, your Italian American aunt shouting, "You boys want to play with the Atari?" <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Almost as good as one of the uh, one of the legends of the Boston Red Sox was a former sh shortstop whose name was uh, I'm gonna type it out first. Everyone, everyone who's from America already knows this. <laughs> no ma, no ma Garcia Farah. <laughs> Fucking best name for a Boston uh, star, and he was like the guy in Boston for a while too. Wow. Yeah, I had an N64. I, that was the first console that I had. I, I had a Commodore 64. 
I'm never having a ta- and a tarry. <laughs> and a tarry. <laughs> Commodore 64, not the same thing as N64. No, and then and then the N64 was a big upgrade yeah. to a Commodore 64. Let me tell oh, you. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. It yeah. blew my mind. I went, yeah, I went Nintendo, Super Nintendo, uh, PlayStation, because I wanted to follow the Final Fantasy games, and that's mm. how I ended up there. Yes, no. Chunter, uh, Chunter, not taking the space forward. I don't know how he's gonna advance this ball, Jim. <laughs> well, that's true. What, what he'll do is he'll just expose the ball to an instant two die splits again, and then uh, and then and then just catch it with a different gut runner. You know, that seems that yeah. seems to, to be his, his strategy. <laughs> and somehow he's like done brilliantly out of that because he like. I don't know, for some reason he didn't follow up because he didn't want to get fouled. So then he got claw pummed instead, which is worse than getting fouled. So I'm just I'm bamboozled by the whole thing. Oh now he's getting to claw pom the dirty players, so that's nice. Uh just for reference, Should I did one more that. uh random spin off of Cutter and I got North Korea, so Oh god. This thing this thing's this thing might have an agenda, Jim. <laughs> it hates you, doesn't it? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, an Amiga. My friend had an Amiga on Atari, I remember when I was a when I was a child and I played on uh, I think it was an Atari. They were basically the same thing, weren't they? They just like like they were the same games, I thought. I don't remember. I don't remember either. Set the floppy is life changing. Yeah. And I had a Commodore 64. I had a thing that played cartridges on the Commodore 64, like it was later on, but like, you know, obviously I started with the tapes. And then they like they brought out cartridges for the uh, Commodore 64 eventually. And we also had the uh, the old, uh, the old, the uh, like the original like 80s style home, uh, home computers with DOS and all <laughs> the DOS games. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's a Kaz. Mm. Yep. And that's a, the uh, the ball carrier, right? Just a gobble. Uh, just a gobble. Yeah, nothing, nothing special. Yeah. Yeah, getting this, uh, getting this troll out on a foul would be pretty productive for uh, for Chunter here because the one turn is kind of going to be a saving grace, I think. If there's any goblins left, no, I mean there will be. There's plenty of goblins on the bench. He's got Skitter though as well to score a one turn, hasn't he? Oh so uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. He's got multiple chances. Yeah, imagine, imagine having gutter runners on an underworld team, Jim. It's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Right, we've got a Blood Bowl good. three release date. Oh baby, get excited. Oh, I'm so excited. That was an order. That was an order, Jim. I'm so excited. <laughs> or a threat, I don't know. It's one of the, yeah. the 23rd of February, isn't it? Is is when Blood Bowl Three will be coming out. I would have died if they had accidentally put like the 29th of February. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. One claw pommer is out. But he's still got another yeah. one for this, but he obviously doesn't have a tackle on it, but it can certainly smash the shit out of this strength four one, can't it? Instant. Right, that's obviously mm -hmm. where the blitz is gonna come. And there is no dirty player retribution, so that's nice. I mean I'd have to buy a Commodore sixty four to do that, Steve. Or no, I wouldn't but I could get an emulator. But um also I'd be terrible at them. <laughs> they were really well, I mean hard. those are just those were just the old, those are just the old computers from the eighties. They all had the, whatever they were, the five-inch floppies or whatever. We had cassettes. They, had, they mostly had cassettes for the Commodore sixty-four, but then, but then they did have cartridges. Can you imagine having a five-inch floppy, Jim? Oh, <laughs> be nice. Wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> Cram that in your hard drive. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> I got hired in today to go shoot a shoot a restaurant and uh it was like a 40 a 40 menu item restaurant shoot which I like cuz it pays really well and I show up and I look at their menu and there's six items on the menu 
Oh my god. I was like, somebody fucked up here, but I'm I'm taking 40 different pictures so I get paid properly. <laughs> so I took like I just kept like taking like it was a it was a taco place. So I kept just like putting an extra pinto bean on a on a taco and calling it like taco with with extra beans and <laughs> it was such garbage. Speaking of such garbage, have you seen that Agrelius has just blitzed a lineman instead of either a strength four claw mighty tackler or a full claw pommer? He just went and blitzed a lino. He's just trying to stay in front of the team that vastly outpaces him. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> Now, now Chunter gets to claw pom his claw pom, or just claw mighty yep. his claw pom, and still just go wherever the fuck he wants. It's funny when both teams have a claw palmer, but only one team is uh, leveraging them effectively. It's mm. a, it almost always doesn't work out for the team that's doing the bad job. Well, mm. I guess this was terrible by this. Chunter. I guess he's got friends. Yeah, here. but even then, he could have uh, double pushed. Like there was no need to do that. You, you do the wrestle tackle hit first, right? To see, to see, because yeah. if if you if you uh, if you pow skitter here with this wrestle tackle, who's got an instant two D on him, then you've mm -hmm. got the assist to blitz this guy, or whatever. Do you know what I mean? And you can might remove him, and then you know mm -hmm. what's going on, and then you can you could just definitely get through. Yeah. Without whereas this, it could have been double push and still blocking the way. He's just trying to soften him up, up Paravel. It doesn't matter who he kills as long as he can get to those uh, those injured <laughs> line rats on the bench. It's a win, surely. Yeah. No, I think, it, <laughs> I think it might be better to, yes, get, kill the actual good players that can win the game instead yeah. of shithead linemen where he's got loads more shithead linemen and they're completely irrelevant. But, you know. This is... This is actually really interesting by Chunter. He had all of the, that Underworld team in front of him, and yet somehow <laughs> he just went around them. It's amazing, isn't it? I, you won't I see know. players <laughs> like this anywhere else, guys. <laughs> that was incredible. How did he find this this acres of space? I just don't believe it. <laughs> Mango. Yeah, but that's right. That's the only thing that matters. When two claw yeah. pom teams are playing, the only thing that matters is getting your claw pommers to hit their claw pommers. And it's like pretty much the only... Guys. Now, obviously, it's, this is different because there's only one claw pom team here. Because, you know, Chunter's still got three unbelievable good runners. So, like, Chunter actually has, like... You know, that's the thing about Skaven, right? They've got, they've got two ways to win. They can just randomly yeah. claw pom you and they can be a Skaven or they can be, like, a Skaven team. So like it's disgusting like when when they get the two claw pommers like this, um, although he's only got one claw pommer, but still, that's Trunter, isn't it? Um, and you know, a strength four guard is a good player to have, and you generally don't want to pile on with strength four, so it, it makes sense going guard on him instead of pylon. But pylon would have been fine on the strength four. Um, but with the claw pommer is all the fucking shithead underworld have. So, you know, they should they should be claw pumming good players. Oh my god, this troll! <laughs> this troll got like knocked over on like turn one, didn't he? He's just been down for the whole half. <laughs> You'll make up for it with a uh, goblin toss to save the game. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Oh, now he's gonna get a. I mean, it's actually okay getting to claw pom this uh, Rackler, because at least, you know, he's got goblins. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, he's got goblins. I really thought he was just not even going to hit with him then for a second. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would have been disappointing. <laughs> he's uh, really screening off the end zone there, too. Hmm. Four gets the cards. There you go. The worst thing about it is he doesn't get the pile on, so <laughs> Chunter gets to claw pump him. <laughs> yeah. uh, again, Chunter hasn't been super motivated to hit him, though. No. He might not even, anyway, because it'd be like a bit of a frenzy trap, wouldn't it? So yeah. he might just he might yeah. just claw mighty the thrower. Or he might just run away so he doesn't get claw pumped himself. Things he's going to go in next turn. Night Blitz, this one. Who knows?
Yeah, that was... It's been a weird half, hasn't it? Shouldn't have completely not defending the ball was... Yeah. Was very strange, wasn't it? <laughs> space going for the old space cadetting. <laughs> it worked. It did, yeah. It did when he just caught the scatter. <laughs> And there was no pile on. And you know, to be fair, it wasn't that bad a hit to give up, right? Because either you get piled on, in which case you get to foul him with dirty player, or he doesn't pile on, in which case you get to call upon him. So, like... Defending the ball is Apart from the fact that you were definitely going to lose the ball <laughs> and maybe get your maybe get your edge five gutter killed, apart from that, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> like, the retribution was good. You know, it's actually interesting... He doesn't really need to even blitz with the the frenzy claw palmer because he's not going to pile on right now because he's getting fouled if he does. Yeah. So like it like just definitely gets fouled next turn if he if he piles on. So he he might as well have hit with the you know the strength four claw mighty blow into the you know into the the claw palmer. Yeah. And then backed off. Yeah. Because he just hit a random rat to save himself a dodge, but like. Yeah, or he could have, or he could have hit this guy with a claw, mate. He couldn't either. Yeah, he's got yeah. tackle. He's got tackle on him. He doesn't have tackle on the. But, but yeah. like there was no chance of him ever piling on there. You know, no, like correct, he was yeah. definitely getting gang fouled. So, he might as well have just moved him off and then hit a better target with the strength four. Yeah. And look, a great is really sure. I, I, I called, didn't I, uh, greeting the hit on the dirty player, and obviously he should have been because he's got three rerolls now. And he really, he really should have greeted that. Got a pile here. You literally have to pile. Yeah. Because, yeah, you can. Yeah. You have to pile. A KO doesn't matter. He's got four fucking reserves. And he's got 75% yeah. to come back. So just pile on and see if you can cast him. Yep. I'm not sure how Chunter gets into this game, seeing as two of his shit is arranged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, devastating losses. Two, two, uh, two. No, I mean, the, the Rackler is alright, isn't he? But yeah, the other one's just a, just a rookie line on. Does he get 3D? Yeah, he gets 3D on Skitter. That's yep. Probably shouldn't have left that on. TB hitch. Mankle. Yes. No harm, no foul. Skitter is fine. And there we go. So, we got two options here for one turn. Yeah. I can't I time out. Oh, do I need mod view to time out? I guess I do. Well, just imagine I timed you out for 10 minutes. Oh, that's not that bad. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I, I guess know. depending on how you slice that. Yeah, fair yeah, enough. Fair enough, fair enough. They're taking, taking it face value. <laughs> There you go, Chunt has scored. And, uh... yep. So it's interesting here. If he sets up against the skitter, does the goblin throw become the better option? Probably, probably almost never, right? Yeah, you'd, you'd still try for the skitter, and then if yeah. it fails, you've got the. the no, yeah, the yeah, yeah, because you can try and get all the pushes for skitter. Yeah, yeah, oh, I didn't even think of it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's sick, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a pretty sick one turn chance. He doesn't have jugs, does he? But uh, it's still, I don't, and I don't know how good a Gradius is at one turn. Yeah. Yet. But I mean, that's why basically like a big reason why Skidder's on the team right now. So mm. I don't think mm. he took him for tail. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
And one would hope he could uh, he could do the one turn. It's only two pushes, isn't it? So it's pretty easy. Your first hit goes there and gets into there, and your second hit gets into there. And then it gets a bit dodgy, doesn't it? The dodges aren't great. Oh, oh okay, so, well, you know, I don't want to be... <laughs> <laughs> I think we got that in all caps. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be offensive to anybody, you know. <laughs> no, I don't know. I can't, I can't actually think of something that's funny without being offensive. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what are we doing here? I don't know, it looks like he's using the whole method. Which Yeah, but also not having a goblin. Next and to not the having troll. a goblin and having the <laughs> troll based by two players, so Yeah. I mean it, he's still setting up, so there's plenty of time, but I don't know what's going on here. Mm. There we go. Okay, okay. Okay, good. So who is Blitz? <laughs> And he's using the hole. You, don't, you can't use the hole. You've got horns, so you don't need assists. So you, you know, you can just go in there with a the guy there, and then fill in these. Yeah. So you go out straight yeah. In. Right. Yeah. Uh. Come on. Come on. And then even if you power me, you can you can dodge in with gobbles and then get the second one with a block. I guess. Or a third I guess one maybe the, the hole. Maybe the hole helps get that the guy that you're actually blitzing. No, into the, a position the, where he's relevant, but I don't think so, right? No, no, no. The, the hole's really bad here. Also, yeah. because he's got goblins, like you probably fully commit to the uh, to the pushes because you've got the goblins to fill in all the squares, so you can probably get three pushes pretty easily, um, to be honest. You probably doesn't even look pushes. like he's trying the skitter, the skitter one turn here. Like He doesn't have the guy in position to blitz. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, I guess he's. Oh, so he's blitzing with this. He's the wrestler's blitzing yeah. and pushing yeah. him into the hole. And then he's gonna fill and he's gonna go backwards. Which is it. just yeah. terrible. Uh, but I guess at least if you fail it, then you've got the goblin toss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still though. But it's really, really much worse than it could have been. Yeah. And because he's got both throwers back for the goblin toss, he hasn't got one up for the skitter. Oh yep. god. This is, uh, maybe it's Chalice Nerves, who knows? Maybe it's because he plays Lizards. <laughs> Make of maybe, that what maybe, you will. Yeah, maybe <laughs> overthinking it here. <laughs> that was brutal. Brutal condemnation by Storm. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's easy to get the two pushes, isn't it? Yeah. And you can get three as well because you can just use the two heads goblins to fill these two and get a third push. Yep. Anyway. So he could have got four pushes probably pretty easily if he just committed to the skitter one turn. Yeah. I, I, I don't I don't I wouldn't fault him for that though. I think having both options is the way to go, but Yeah, it's probably okay. But since it's so likely, you know, like the that you can uh it's so likely because you just you guaranteed two, right? Because you blitz here, yeah. and even if you power him, you get to hit this one. So you like with with the goblin one, you basically guarantee two pushes by having goblins being able to uh, two heads around. Them. The two heads dodges almost guarantees you two pushes, and so yeah. then maybe he's getting like three pushes. Oh well, you're not guaranteed because you can double one oh. and get cast. Your best, your best goblin. So there you go. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Nice one turn, mate. Where'd you get it? The dead goblin shop. <laughs> God, that's fucking horrible, isn't it? <laughs> that is demoralizing. Yep. Something tells me Chunter's one turn is going to go significantly better if uh, it comes down to uh, <laughs> yes. turn 16, 1 1. Yes. I don't think it will come down to turn 16, 1 1, but if it does, yes, yeah. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was that was really unlucky, wasn't it? I mean, because that like using those to fill in the gaps is why I would have probably committed to the one turn and just 
the one. Killed your best one. Oh man, what can you do? You would have been better off just going for three mighty blow hits on the other ones. Obviously, Chunter still got. He's he's benching his his get all one turner. <laughs> But there's a lot of good players that can be hit by Claw Palm here, so I guess Chunter won't be too happy. There was also a Wizard for Agrelius in the first half, so maybe he should have done something. You know when he when he hit the ball, when Chunter just fully exposed the ball, maybe he should have Wizarded first. Like you don't really want to, but like maybe wizarding first to soften it up you know then you could have really just slaughtered the cage then you know like if you just if it was like a five man fireball maybe and then a hit on the on the ball whatever happens that might have been a good idea just to really really try and smash him that might have been the play to be honest no it was it was a it was, six are you talking fireball. about yesterday's game no this game because agrius oh. has got a wizard oh, so, no. so you know yeah, the yeah. turn when he hit the ball yeah, there was loads of good players in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even Sorry, think I was thinking about, about yesterday's five-man fireball that mm. pissed off PC and everyone, but mostly PC. <laughs> yeah, no, because I, I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about the wizard, you know. But like, if I'd been playing, I would have done. And obviously, store was so. Yeah, six-man. Yeah, there were lo I, I remember there being a cluster of good players. So yeah, that, that maybe would have been worse. Just like, even though you're almost certainly going to put, like, you had a certain hit on the ball any already, which makes it worse, doesn't it? But it was a relatively early fireball, and like you, you, your wizard like isn't going to be much use unless they steal the ball off you. You know, like it's it's unlikely to be much use pretty much ever against Skaven. Like it's a bit of a shit inducement versus Skaven. So like, yeah, the fact that he could just target loads of good players with a fireball that might have got really good value from it. Yeah, but that was probably the fireball turn. Yeah. Very interesting. I had forgotten about the wizard in this game completely. To be honest, yeah, with you. I had. Yeah, I had. Yeah. No one, no one, no one. This uh, this playoffs has seemed to give too much of a shit about their wizard. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I think that's what it is. So why should I, Jim? So why should I? Exactly. Hello, beard. Plus, we were probably talking about Qatar or something. <laughs> <That's it. Yeah. sighs> well, every day uh, on the pitch. Uh, even in late November is going to be like a fucking fireball in the sky during uh, those World Cup games. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. It's, it's going like to be brutal. So, it's so late, and it's like they would have just all yeah. it, they would have just all like been unable to play, wouldn't they? Yeah. If they played it at the usual time. It, it's funny because like for all of the wrong reasons, I'm like pissed about it being in november but like man november is a great time for a soccer tournament in my <laughs> life like that's much that i'd much rather that than midsummer you know yeah but, I, uh, I know i know you were mangled but like making fun of it isn't isn't funny is it do you know what i mean yeah, like, yeah, yeah no it was uh, i i understand i understand the gray area that you were working within but out of safety's sake it was better to just delete and move on yeah and i think we should continue to do so yeah no one, no one's faulting you there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's just, this is fuck now, isn't it? So now it's looking good that he saved the wizard because he's probably going to lose the ball next turn. So we can use yeah. the wizard to get it back like somebody should have done. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody should have done. Who was it? Uh, I can't remember. There was a game the other day, wasn't it? Where he just refused to use the wizard. <laughs> yeah, that was the game. That was the game. That was the game I was constantly thinking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, Grid is going to have to use the wizard there. Uh... Oh, this is a nice blitz stab because that guard is a right fucking pain in the tits. So, yeah, it gets him. Well, actually, he could have, he could have, he could have stabbed the other one, but it wouldn't have worked on the other one. I believe he's strength three, anyways, so couldn't even two deed him. It doesn't even help him that much, does it? Yeah, I think he's just realised it doesn't help him that much. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like a good idea, and it's like, oh, I still can't hit anybody. I think we are fucked, my hair. <laughs> he could, uh, he can dodge in this gobble to get a two D from his claw palmer on on a lino, um, and then. Oh yeah, that, that's yeah. Right, now he's got one D with him. Okay. Okay, so we can be with him. Easy. Easy life. 
And then the POW means he can bring in this guy in 2D, the strength 4. That, that was good. This was risky, but the payoff was worth it because his yeah, situation yeah, yeah. so desperate. I like that. I like that play a lot. Correct. He can't really pile on, though. Oh, oh, maybe he can, on. actually. Yeah, 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 yeah he can. Yeah, he can. It's not... Chunder's not going to be fouling him at this stage. No, and it's it's a fucking strength four. Tackle, yeah. claw, mighty guard. Like, you have to pile that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. And then power one Apo! Pal. Yeah, Power Apo. Yeah. Also known as Correct Apo! <laughs> yeah, and that's a KO. This was a great turn, wasn't it? Loads of stuns yeah. and KOs. And, uh... Maybe we will get that A-turn style. Yeah, maybe. That was a brilliant start. Does he have the dirty player? Oh, he's benched the dirty player. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What are you... Ah, Grayley is what you play. He he's mostly plays lizards. Make of that what you will. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people really don't like fouling on offense. Yeah, but you've got to put him on, haven't you? I mean, I, I agree. Why would you Why would you ever want a regular goblin instead of that one, right? Yeah, he's 50 Or is he a line rat? Skill. Is he a line rat? No, he's a goblin, yeah. He's a goblin with 50 TV of skills, and you just, you're just eh. not playing his 50 TV of skills. Yeah. There's literally no reason to use a regular goblin over him because you're not protecting him for anything. No, no, exactly. This Maybe is he like... just missed it. He might have. Yeah, just he missed must it. have missed it. Yeah, he must have missed it. But like, it's still bad to miss it, isn't it? When it's your team, especially. Um... Oh well, rats basing the ball. Nothing could ever possibly happen to them. <laughs> He's also picked up on the wrong fucking thrower, by the way. Yeah. He's. Oh no, he's not. No, I thought they both had dodge. Okay, this one's got leader. I literally thought that uh, was dodge as well. You know, I they yeah, were it's weird. I, I also read the leader icon as dodge that entire time. That's really weird. Yeah. Man, it's gonna be a, gonna be a real shame. Uh, <laughs> gonna be a real shame when we can't tell any of the icons apart. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> is that, so you know, this is this is a typical chunt turn, isn't it? Um, Apart from Kazing himself, you know, in that he's got two guys on the ball, and then he's he's tagging the claw, but he's tagging yeah. the claw on because he's got he's got tackle, so yeah. he doesn't want him to tackle the gutter. Like, it's funny because me and my experience in Blood Bowl, after if I was Chunter's team, right, and I just suffered that first turn, I would be terrified of putting anyone in base contact at all, <laughs> and I would be punished for doing so. But I'm not entirely sure Chunter's going to get punished here. No. Well, he's already not being punished as much as he should have been because this this yeah. troll could have come in here. Then he could have yeah. blitzed this guy, which would have chained off his ball carrier. Whereas now he's he's got to put in an extra player here to and can't chain him off. Like or he's no, he's got to run around. He's got to run all the way around here to blitz him. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Like he just he just fucked himself. I don't know how he's like. I guess he just. I, I guess mean, he, just he might just be content taking as many, yeah, take a, take as many hits as he can right now, right? Yeah, just block he's, the ball he, carrier. He's got a hot hand. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, just block with the carrier, I guess. That never goes wrong, so. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got Sometimes. the dirty play. He's got the dirty player sneaky get the foul as well, so that'll make it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, he's a sneaky get. He can run from off the field, right? I can't wait for that to become a rule in Blood Bowl when they run out of rules. Yeah. Guy can run onto the field for two turns. Well, they used to. They used to. That's how reserves yeah. used to work. And, yeah, yeah. and it makes you wonder if that would be like better for the game, if like your reserves could actually come on when you lost players, you know, like in your end zone or something, because then at least like there'd be a point in having a bench more. Yes, he's got to run all the way around to do the move. But he gets the power. Get to the removal. Oh my goodness! And now, and now the uh, ignominy of uh, a, 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 a goblin taking a uh, gutter runner off the pitch, right? Yeah. Yep. Glorious. But yeah, this this now exposes like the cage to a lot of pressure. Next turn, I might have. Uh, yeah. I might yeah. have just gone one back. Oh, he doesn't doesn't, doesn't even block the gutter. It. Yeah, yeah. So either either you stand where he is and you block, but even then, if you block, you can sidestep there, so you can't block him. But I would have just gone one back. I would have, I would have gone one back here, and like had the cage one back. Ah, but then he gets the dodge out. I, I don't think it was worth dodging him. I would have just left him down. I think. But, yeah. They could call it swarm. Yeah, there you go. 
Um, GW's mind is no stone. Yeah, the phone, it doesn't look like the, well, no, 3-0, 3-0 was the prediction, but yeah, it's it's not looking likely now, is it? I mean, there's there's been a bunch of removals. This feels like a 2-1 to me. Yeah, 2-1 to Chunter. I, 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 think, I think it's going to be a 2-1 on a Chunter 1 turn, too. Yep, I agree completely. It would, wouldn't it, Paraville? Yep, yep. I mean, it's obviously just a mistake. There's no way you would choose to, like, bench him. So it's obviously just a mistake, but it's it's still a bad mistake, isn't it? When, that, when that's the only standing goblin in overtime and he goes off, though, Jim, <laughs> and he just takes everyone out on the team and wins <laughs> the game, we'll be the dumb ones. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go. Full chunts. Everything based all the time. Just standing up his place to get knocked down. But there's no guard. Well, there's one guard, isn't there? There's one guard and it's the troll. So he's got to try and... Herp, derp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the Use that one <laughs> guard to do things somehow. Man, Chunter just... I, I, don't, I don't watch as much Chunter as the average person in this stream, I think. And it always marvels me. Like, I always marvel at how much, like how aggressive he bases. Yeah, yeah. With, with the team that I have been, like, like whipped into believing is not supposed to leave anyone in contact ever. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hello, Lemon. Yeah, normally it's good to do this on a crucial turn, but Chunter just does it like yeah. turn turn one, oh. turn two, turn three, turn yep. four, turn another, five. Another gutter KO'd, though, making mm. this drive a lot easier for Underworld. Yeah. I mean, it's almost a foregone conclusion at this point. Not quite, but pretty damn close. Certainly not going to have to use his wizard here, I think, and gets the save for overtime. Yeah. Unless Chunter gets really spicy, which is always a possibility. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, he might, he might be losing the ball next turn. Yeah, yeah, this is... Uh... I wouldn't be surprised if he loses the ball next turn. Oh, wow, Chunter sidesteps yep. into a stab. He doesn't have sidestep. Oh, he doesn't have sidestep. Yeah, no, that was a good block there. He had nothing he could do. Doesn't mm. matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. No, he blocked with a... With a, with a not who I would have blocked with. <laughs> I would have blocked with this just to block him off, but his was block was better than mine. I was I would have blocked with the wrong player. <laughs> that was just better than what I would have done. I would have blocked with this guy to just get him away, and yeah. then do. No, this I like the block into pickled, the but, stab. But yeah, didn't yeah, work I out. do, I do. I like it better than what I would have done. So there you go. So he gets the two D on on the strength four. Chunter's running out of players, isn't he? Four, yes. five, six, seven. Might be losing another one here. Oh, wait, no, he's got dodge. Oh, no, he doesn't. I was looking at the cards backwards. <laughs> yeah, 11 versus 7. But, uh, ooh, wow. Okay. Okay. Uh... Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Interesting. Okay, probably should have dodged the gobble first, right? In case it was he won in thirty six. He can can he chain him back to the strip? Oh, it does the strip doesn't matter? He's got sure hands. Yeah, and it's quite it's quite good isolating the gutter on a on skitter like that. I really like that. So I, I like that move, but I think he, I think it's just a slight ordering. He should have moved the gobble first. Because if you move the if you move the uh, troll and then double one the dodge, it's it's terrible, isn't it? So, whereas if you move the gobble, if you move the if you fail the gobble dodge, it's fine. And if you make the gobble dodge and then the troll goes stupid, it's fine. Oh wow, Chunter with a the old one D and one D first action. This is a hell of a scrum for two teams that I just would not have picked to be <laughs> piled into each other in the middle of the field. 
And there we go. So yeah, he was doing the one D so he could get the hit on the ball. And yep. Oh, another KO! Fails, yeah, another KO. And right. now he's gonna get his claw pom a claw pond. Yeah. And he's gonna get this gutter run a claw pond as well. Yeah. I mean, really, really, this all comes down to Agralia surviving a one turn and then he's got a wizard, maybe wins the toss and OT and suddenly he's a favorite. Yeah. That's a lot of things have got to happen though. Like he's still, he's still <laughs> yeah, way yeah. less than 50% yeah. to be the favorite. What a, what a dominant position for him to be in for me to have to rattle off like eight things that yeah. need to happen. Yeah. Sounds like was... a fucking Jets fan. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. The Jets, they're the best team in the league. If you discount this, 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 and you pretend that didn't happen. It's like the NFL stats, isn't there? Like <laughs> <laughs> he's the best quarterback in the league on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> my wife if my if my wife's wife is on her period yeah okay <laughs> they've never lost the game what <laughs> yes pile on oh, honey a stun if only he had a uh, dirty <laughs> right now to leverage this uh this uh Numbers of oh, he gets the power, he gets the full power. Ooh. Another instant full pile on. Yep. Oh, and Chunts doesn't oh. get away with the uh, with the basing. Only badly hurt though. Yeah. What is happening? Because he'd got away with it, even though he'd lost his whole team, it was only KO'd, right? So it's still not costing yeah. him for like the one turn in overtime, but finally there was something yeah. happened. In terms of the full match. Yeah, there's a, basically a 0% chance that he's not getting uh, above average KO rolls here, is there? <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, I mean, he's fucking out, isn't he? Obviously, he's not stopping the score. Um, no, no, he's run, it's runaway at times. But he's got a really good chance of the one turn, and then. Even if he fails it, he's 50-50 to win the toss. If he wins the toss, he probably wins. So you blitz stab with Skitter here to, to get that gutter? Yes. Yeah, 100%, right. 100%. percent Who cares about like who cares about yeah. GFI GFI right. pumping this guy? Just stab him. Make a massive dang foul and foul with a non DP guy. <laughs> oh god. If he if he fails to take this claw palmer out because of a lack of DP, it's gonna be pretty sad. Yeah. This is this is the guy who would have been him as well. That this rookie is yeah, like the one that would have been sure. the better player as well. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Here we go. Diced. Is it worth him scoring oh, early? That's no. a, that's a question. Isn't you know, it? that is interesting because, like, on bad KO rolls, maybe those odds are better than the Skaven one. <laughs> yeah, and he's got the wizard to stop like a multiple turn touchdown. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, the wizard. Fuck yeah. yeah. I think I think you know what? Well, hot take. I think he has to. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's just oh, the merry go fell. <laughs> KO gets sent off. Is it a nine? It is a nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, DP would have cast him. Maybe killed him. Oh well. Chunter is such a dice lord. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is unbelievable, isn't it? What are the chances? Pretty high, I guess, because it was a seven or a nine when it, where it would have been big, wouldn't it? Like if if Agrelius punched it in right now and lost because all those KOs came in and, and Chunter had an easy, you know, three turn score, would anyone feel any worse? Like, would he feel any worse than if he just lost to a one turn? Yeah, yeah, it's inter It's an interesting thing to think about. It's a three turn. Like you know, if if Chunter scores in two. Then he'd get the one turn chance back, wouldn't he? So yeah. it maybe is like Chunterwood has got to score in three, and you've got a wizard. It 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 it, it does it does make you think maybe. Uh... I guess the thing is though, then you're only playing like you're only playing for overtime, then though, right? Aren't you? Like because it's one one, 
So that's maybe a bit different. Maybe it isn't worth it, because you really want the wizard in overtime. Like, if you lose the overtime toss, then you've just lost without yeah. the wizard. So I yeah, guess... but like, but is Chunter going to turtle up and play for overtime if he's got three turns? I don't think so, unless he has no players. No, but what I mean is, so, so what I mean is, so, so if you're a Grealish, you're only playing for overtime, right? If, if, like, if you score early, you're not going to count yeah. score on him. So, so then you're probably going to have to use the wizard to get to overtime. Oh, so, in my in my brain, I was playing to win in regular time. If I'm scoring early with three turns, I would not with two turns now, but with three turns, I'd be I'd be I'd be all in to win because I'd be I would basically be admitting that I can't stop his one turn. Mm. So I'm I'm. You know, I'm gonna lose in regular time anyway, so I might as well try to beat him in regular time with a, an advantage. Oh! <laughs> Stabbed him to death! <laughs> oh, he finally finds it. Holy Maybe, shit! Might, might not even have a one-turn chance here. Yeah, God, he hasn't got many there, players, has he? Does he have a gutter? Oh, he has a gutter on the bench. Okay, he does yeah. have a gutter on. He's the got bench. a rookie line up, but yeah, if he rolls terribly on these KO rolls, he might he might really struggle with a one-turn. Holy shit! He only needs one push. He's got sprint sure feet. Imagine if you had bomber right now and not skitter. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 well picked there. Yeah. He could three dice him with wrestle, or he can just stab him. I think you just stab him because just stab him. Yeah. Push doesn't no matter. Does so, yeah, you just uh, yeah, yeah, you just stab. Well, the, the 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 plus point is SPP for your line rat, isn't it? That's the only plus point. Well, yeah. So yeah, stop much better. Right, let's see All how right. many players Chunter let's... gets for the one turn. Chunter is about to go. Uh, uh, what's that movie where they flip the coin? Uh, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. No, he doesn't. He gets bang average. It looks yeah. like. He's got I thought five. he was just gonna flip a coin eight, seven times and get heads every time. <laughs> well, he's got he's got perfect actually. He's got perfect. He's got the edge five to get it. Yeah. And uh, well, I say perfect. It's not really perfect. It, yeah. I don't know if it's enough. It might it might be it might be enough. Yeah, I'm not sure it's perfect. <laughs> he only needs one push. Hmm. But he doesn't have sidestep. I think it might be enough. I think five might be enough. I don't know though. So one blitzes. One, two, three, four. Oh, but then, so then you've got to put somebody in the line who gets the ball, right? So, so you've got one of your LOS guys gets the ball, the H5 one, obviously. So then you've got four other players. So you could go one, two, three. One, two, three, four. And then so you blitz there. And then so you can use the, you can use the whole method. Um, but it's like an uphill blitz. He's gonna okay, okay. So he's gonna dodge in here for the diagonal. Hit. What? Uh, whole method, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so he's he's gonna dodge and then uphill, but he can he can power on this uphill. He's gonna get a ride, is what's gonna happen. Oh my no. god, he's got he's got a rock to make it a lot easier. So he's he's gonna do the dodge in, so he can roll a pow, and then that will push him to there, and then he'll get the, and then he'll get the handoff, so he'll get a two D on that hit. So this is, this is actually pretty good, isn't it? It's almost like he's played Skaven before. Because mine would have been an uphill. My initial thing was whole method and, and an uphill. Mm. Whereas this is this is still an up. So if once you've like I didn't think about it after that, but if if you're gonna do the uphill, then it's better to do it like this. Yeah, which he gets it. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if he takes a power or a push. So you obviously got to take the push because he's gonna chain this one anyway. He takes the power. He should have taken the push because the power doesn't matter at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he pushes that guy back. Yeah. Yep. And he gets an armor break for his trouble. Yep. And now there's no there's no dodges up here. What a looker dog. What a looker dog she oh. is. 
That Unbelievable. Better. It's insane, isn't it? So now it's just a four three two. And it would have been a it would have been a four three two, three 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 two. And he just yep. saved all the dodges. And there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, yeah. Well, this is again. This is why that. Uh, this is why that score early and just use the wizard to try and avoid that exact thing happening. Yeah. Cause like, cause you can you imagine if that was a, uh, if that was a three turn, right? Like if if that was a three turn and he had four players and you had a wizard. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You might win that game. You might yeah. win that game in regular time. Yeah, I think. I think. The, you know, I I like didn't think of it until you said it <laughs> yeah and it was definitely my thought and i didn't steal it directly out of chat <laughs> well, there you that, go. that was that was that was vintage winner three five eight right there <laughs> but yeah once you said it yeah it made a lot of sense so there's probably something that should have you know it really should have thought about before the match right you know like yeah and and because you've got to think how you win the game and, and i guess that is one of the ways you win the game is but if you've banged him out like this you score early and then and to stop the one turn, but I mean, he obviously got super unlucky with the rock uh, affecting the one turn, and then him getting the uphill pushes on the one turn. Uh, like the the dodge in was obviously not that hard, was it? Because it was edge five, but the up, the uphill is is the uphill part of it is pretty difficult, right? Because he's got to get yeah. pushes all pals. Uh, the both down would have not have been. Enough. But it's chunter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think that was. I think. Thinking about it more. How wrecked is his team for the second round, though? Not that bad. Not that bad. It was only the, the it was only the death. Uh, the the other yeah. one was just a badly hurt and uh... stole the MVP. Yeah, yeah. he had leveled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Not only the not only the MVP he stole the level. Yeah. Outrageous. Um, but yeah. So yeah, that was an interesting point. Yeah, Peravil. Was it was it you that thought of it, Peravil? Yeah. So that was. Uh, but the wizard was the big one, right? The, the wizard that yeah. again I didn't think of. But but Stor saw it with six players under it. That we probably should have wizard then, shouldn't he? Like thinking about it again. I totally. I wasn't even paying attention at that point. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't either. But like you know, again, it's one of those things where yeah. I think you know, a, a lot of the times you you can forgive the players for missing things because like you know you get caught up in like a, a kind of one track mind, don't you, and stuff and like. You, you don't see things because you're concentrating, but then also the, sometimes the casters don't see things because they haven't picked the inducements and they haven't picked the skills on the players and they don't, you know, they're not really paying attention. So I think you can forgive us for not spotting the wizard who's <laughs> there. Um, but he should have he should have been thinking about the wizard every turn, right? And he should have thought. I think I think he probably should have done it then. There, there was such good quality under there that you know, like, and he has to remove players to wins. And I thought I thought some of his blitzes were a bit weird as well, like trying to. You know, try, like like trying to screen, like blitzing Linos to try and screen is just not how you beat Skaven, is it? You've got to go after those yeah, big yeah, players yeah. And, and take them down. Um, but there you go. Anyway, it was it was a pretty good game, wasn't it? Congratulations, Chunter, commiserations, Agrelius. Thank you very much, Skuro. It was fantastic having you on here. Glorious. Uh, yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. And uh, once uh, one more shout out to the uh, good people of uh, Cutter. I hope. Uh, Things work out better for you than they have for probably a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the people are fine, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Ooh.